Garuda Linux is one of the fastest growing up and coming Arch based distributions that we have. And recently they announced yet another new desktop, increasing once again the offerings that they have. Welcome back to Switch to Linux. And today we are going to have a brief look at the new desktop environment that uh, Garuda has just announced. And uh, we're going to chat a little bit about that and the current developments and things like that. If you like this type of content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. Leave us a like and a comment down below. And today we are going to talk about their recent announcement. Garuda is now introducing Cosmic. Now, Cosmic, if you'll remember, is a desktop environment that is a, is a brand new Rust based desktop environment from Pop OS, uh, System 76 for Pop OS, we should say. And it is still in alpha, although they are expecting the beta to be released this uh, upcoming, uh, probably in the next month or so. And so, Cosmic itself, uh, just have a brief look at this. We have looked at Cosmic on this, so I'll go ahead and link a couple videos here for Cosmic. But uh, the Cosmic desktop environment is, is inspired by GNOME, but the System76 team didn't like some of the directions GNOME was going, and they wanted to have a little bit of uh, different functions and features. So Cosmic is based sort of on, on the GNOME look and feel. You can see from the screenshot here, they have a, a panel at the bottom, of course, uh, the dock, we should say, at the bottom is uh, like what you would get with a dash to dock with GNOME. Of course, the default GNOME does not have that. But uh, they do have that on Pop! OS. You can see we have a kind of like a system tray in the upper right. We have a calendar and clock in the center, upper center. And we have an applications launcher and workplace switcher in the upper left. And of course, one of the cool things about this is you can convert it from a basic desktop environment to a tiled window manager with a simple click of a button. And so that is what... Cosmic has. Now, we've looked at Cosmic in a couple of different versions. They are on Alpha 6. This is why I'm kind of waiting until they release a beta before I have a look at it again. Uh, there's always a lot of fast moving progress on it, and it is going out pretty well. Now, there is a list of distributions that do have this available in the repositories. So, Fedora, Nix, Arch, OpenSUSE, Serpent, Redox, and Kashi. And now we add Garuda to that list. Now, of course, because it is alpha, it don't use it on a full production system yet. Uh, and please feel free to give them some bug reports if you encounter any issues. Now, as far as how the functionality works, you can see here is the workplace switcher. Did not work on my first run with the alpha, but the next time I ran the, the alpha, like what did it do, version three or four or something, this was now working on my hardware. So very nice workplace switcher. If you're using workplaces, you can use the, the switcher pretty quickly. Uh, the adaptable windows, this is effectively the, um, the window manager type view where you can uh, create templates and you can uh, move windows quite easily, creating the workspace that you really like. And of course, the recent versions have some extra theming options. You can do accent colors and uh, just a number of, of different options. I believe we have the icon uh, switcher in there now as well. Basic application launcher like you find in GNOME, and they are still working on some things. The accessibility, uh, I think they were just introducing these the last time I looked at it. The design is still in progress, and the startup applications is still in progress. They do have a number of things to do for the compositors, for zooms, frosted effects, colored versions. Basically, by the time this thing comes out, it's going to look pretty sweet. And then there's some other things that are incomplete but planned. Uh, there's accessibility features, calendar integrations, workplaces, and then they have the initial setup and the media player is what is moving. So that's a little bit about it. Again, if you want to have a look at this on this channel, we've done a couple of different looks at Cosmic in the past. But as far as the Garuda announcement from a couple of days ago, uh, you can go ahead and grab a... Garuda ISO for the latest version of Garuda that just came out. And uh, this is the Broadwing. And uh, now it's not on the official Garuda download page. And the reason for that is because this is alpha software and the downloads page is those for which are production ready. But if you do like Cosma and you, uh, Cosmic and you do like Garuda, you can have a look over in this. I will leave this uh, forum post in the description of this video. 
They are reminding you several places. Cosmic is in alpha and any bugs you have related to Cosmic should be reported to System 76, not the Garuda team, as uh, they're just here packaging the alpha state desktop environment. Now, they said right now the Cosmic they're releasing is effectively, you know, unadulterated by the system. They are just doing a bare bones. Here's Garuda with this desktop environment. Not much change or out of the way. But what they are calling for is if you happen to like this and want to see this, uh, they are asking for the number of people who would like to see this supported. And if there are enough people and a uh, developer steps up, then they will start doing some adjustments and tweaks as Garuda is known to do. It's not a pure Arch system. Garuda itself is a good Arch installer and Arch base with some extra themes and functions and packages and other things to tweak its particular work and its particular design. So if enough people are interested in this, then what they're going to do is create a whole section specifically to build out what the cosmic version of Garuda might look like. In fact, they already have uh, they already have the um, repository set up for it. So the Garuda cosmic settings. So you can see that they have a, a repo set up. You can go ahead and leave your comments over there. And uh, if you do want to download it at the bottom of the forum post, you can click on that link. As of right now, as I'm recording this, they had a. Uh, March 6th and the March 7th release. Come on over here and you can grab your ISO image for it over here. It's 2.6 gig. And then you can grab your various hashes. You can grab your torrents and, and things like that, package lists and whatnot. So you can find all of that information over there on the forum post as well. So uh, Garuda Linux, as I said in the past, just my, my general commentary on Garuda, I have looked at it uh, a few times in the past and it's very blingy. It's a dark themed, very blingy arch build. If I, and I've said this and I kind of stick to it. If I have to rebuild my arch system anytime in the future, I might go to Garuda instead of Endeavor. I like Endeavor. It's been treating me well. And in the last few versions, it has done a lot better. Now, if you watch my live streams, you know, recently we had a case where the thing like didn't want to boot. And I was like, what's going on? And it was kind of crazy. And I was driving across country and I hypothesized it was the CMOS battery. And um, indeed, that was the problem. There was nothing wrong with Endeavor itself. Consequently, I had updated Endeavor earlier that day, but I said I had booted it a few times since then. I don't think it's Endeavor. It wasn't. Uh, it was the CMOS battery, and since it was a encrypted drive, the uh, BIOS erased where to look for the boot file. So even though even when I got to the point where it, it would ask for the disk decryption, it once it was decrypted, it didn't know where to look for the, uh, for the file. So all I had to do is replace the CMOS battery and then retell the BIOS, basically reset the BIOS where that file should be and I've not had a single problem since then. But if I were to, if I did have to wipe out my current Arch system, something catastrophic occurred, uh, things like that, I would probably go with Garuda as it's uh, the development, the team, the the interest and the passion behind it is good. Not that Endeavors is bad, not that Endeavor is waning down. They too have had a lot of development, but there's just a lot of uh, a lot of niceties that Garuda has with it. And so if they end up getting a um, a nice um, cosmic in there as well. It gives us a few more options uh, to work through. And let me go ahead and show you the, the options they have if you are interested in it. Because even, even now, Garuda Linux has a ton more, um, they have a ton more um, uh, desktop options than they had the last time I looked at it. So when I, fir uh, when I first had a look at, uh, at Garuda, it was simply a, uh, I think it just had uh, XFCE and KDE. So now we have the, the Mocha, which is your uh, KDE desktop environment, heavily themed and customized. Beautiful. Look at that picture. We have the Dragon Eyes, which has a lot more of the bling in it. Um, and then they do give you some some positives and negatives there. These are heavier on resources. The Dragon Eyes might be too colorful for some people. I mean, this thing is colorful. 
Uh, then we have the Dragonized Gaming. This guy here, of course, massive download size because it has a lot of the gaming software pre-installed, ready to go. So if that's your target market, if you just like your classic GNOME, then you have this. Look at this. Their downside of this is less configurable than KDE. I think it's GNOME. It's not configurable at all. I mean, come on. Come on. I know. We're just poking fun. That's all good. We have the Cinnamon now. Okay. I'm going to have to download Garuda Cinnamon. It is my favorite desktop environment and uh, I might just have to uh, see what that looks like. I don't remember that being an option last time I used this. XFCE. And now we have Sway. We have i3. We have Hyperland. And we have a KDE Lite. And we even have a Nix subsystem. So I can say Garuda is making a lot of progress. Uh, I mean, I only looked at this a year or two ago and they had a fraction of these offerings. That's why I mean Garuda itself is uh, it's very fast moving. There's a lot of people behind it. It's doing a lot of really cool things. So it's really neat to see them also jumping in and throwing Cosmic in there as well. So a little plug there for Garuda. Let me know uh, your thoughts about Garuda. Are you using it? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. And I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.